Hello everyone, welcome back to new video and in this video we are going to create a video calling application. In this application we will use Zego Cloud video calling SDK. So Zego Cloud is a platform that provides us a lot of SDKs and UI kits that you can use it very easily in your Android project. Or if you are working with Flutter project, iOS project, React Native project or your web application, this SDK is available for all platforms so you can very easily integrate it. So first thing first open zegocloud.com website link is in the description box so it looks something like this over here first thing first you need to log in yourself and once you logged in you will see this kind of console and over here you can see it will give you 10,000 free minutes if you will use its video calling SDK so it's very cool so first let's create a project so for that just click on this create your project as you can see it has a lot of SDKs and UI kits but uh, I am particularly interested in its voice and video calls just click on it next give your project name so I'm gonna call it third project scroll down so basically you have two way to integrate this thing into your Android project either you choose its UI kit or you can go with their SDKs but I'm particularly interested in its UI kit so I'm gonna start my journey with its UI kit. It takes few moments to create your project so just wait and there we go and we are creating this project for Android just click for Android and over here you have two options either you can choose its group calling or one on one so I'm interested in one on one call so I'm choosing its one on one scroll down on over here you can simply click on save and start to integrate so this is your application ID and this is your application sign that we will use open this quick start guide in new tab you can also watch their video but I'm not interested in the video so this is the first step that we will take in order to integrate it it's video calling SDK so just copy this go back to your project and this is a very basic project that I have created settings dot dot kts and under your dependency a resolution management repository you need to add those two maven things so this maven is for groovy but i'm using here kotlin so just cut this thing and paste in here similarly modify this maven too just cut this url and paste over here remove this pair of parentheses okay go back to your quick start guide so we are done with the first step is called down this is the next step which says in your module app level build dot dot kt so you need to add this implementation just copy this Go back to your project model app label build dot dot kts and over here you can simply paste it and sync your project just to download all of the information that we want okay so it's done let me show you the layout so in our activity underscore main we have few things the first one is constant layout which act as a parent and it has id main we have linear layout in it that has two edit text so first one is username next one is for the user id and lastly the button so this is my layout now i'm gonna open my main activity and first thing first what i will do in here is i'll take reference so first i'll take a reference for my button its id is r dot id dot button next we have our username find view by id app compat edit text r dot id dot username and lastly we have our user id so find view by id app compat edit text r dot id dot user id as soon as user click to our button i want to attach set on click listener so first we will create a configuration for our video call and this is coming from our zego ui kit pre-built call configuration and we are interested in one on one video call so i'm using one on one video call next we will create fragment and we will attach this fragment on our constant layout so as you can see the suggestion zego ui kit pre-built call fragment i'm gonna take the suggestion and import this fragment now in its parameter let me make some space for you just press ctrl p as you can see we need to pass application id application sign user id username call id configuration so application id and application sign this is something which you will get from your console so on top of our on create i'm gonna create a companion object and in this companion object i have my application id then we have our application sign 
again we have one more variable which represent our call id and yeah these three things we need in order to make video call so just grab these two things application id pass here make convert this thing in a form of long go back use your application sign come back to your android studio and just paste in over here call id i'm gonna use one two three four five it's totally up to you if you want to use any other thing you can use it okay so now in this we need to pass application id application sign user id so user id is coming from user id dot text dot to string next username so username is again coming from our edit text reference dot text dot to string and lastly we have to pass call id and my configuration okay so we are done with our fragment creation now it's time to attach this fragment on our constant layout so for that i'm using support fragment manager begin transaction i'm using here replace r dot id dot main which points to our constraint layout and in this i'm gonna mention my fragment so basically this fragment is used on top of our constraint layout and i'm gonna commit this thing now this will start our video calling all right so we are pretty much done now i'm gonna execute this thing in my physical device basically two physical device and i'm gonna show you how it will work so this is my first physical device and this is my second physical device so in this first i'm gonna give my username first and my user id is also first okay so i'm gonna click this button so it will start the audio call as you can see over here okay so in the second device i'm using second and username is also second and click on this button okay so as you can see over here uh, this is my first device this is my second device and also you can see the echo all right so that's it for this video i hope you got the concept of creating video calling application with the help of sega cloud video call stk thank you